We have breaking news now out of the United Kingdom. Queen Elizabeth II, Queen Elizabeth of the United Kingdom and the British Commonwealth, has passed away at age 96. Uh, she passed away in Scotland's Balmoral Castle. Uh, that is confirmed by the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, and also a Twitter feed, the royal family's official Twitter feed, uh, saying, uh, quote, the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral Castle this afternoon. The king and the queen consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Of course, the king, Prince Charles, the queen is dead, long live the king. He is now the British monarch. You're seeing, of course, live pictures there of uh, uh, Buckingham Palace, where crowds are starting to gather. But of course, the queen passed away in Scotland at Balmoral Castle uh, this afternoon. Still uh, back with us uh, in studio, British journalist Natalie Blenford, and of course, uh, Owen Alterman, our senior international affairs correspondent. Natalie, you're a British subject, the Queen, uh, uh, as we say, of blessed memory, may her memory be blessed, uh, the monarch during your entire lifetime and well beyond that, of course, uh, your reaction? It's a shock. Um, it just feels baffling to me that a couple of days ago she was pictured with the new Prime Minister, Liz Truss, and she did look frail. There was some speculation she had a bruise on her hand. People were suggesting she'd had a, a cannula taken out, so she had been treated, but it seems a very quick demise to go from that to no longer being with us. a two-day time. We don't know yet. Uh, there had been concern right over her health yeah. over the past couple of months. Her schedule had been cut back, uh, but nothing that seemed yeah. immediate life-threatening. They, they always cited mobility issues and that she was frail and that she didn't have the strength. And, and, you know, we understand that, to have the strength to come down to London, to shake hands with a new prime minister, to go back again. It's a lot. It's a lot for anybody. But I think this is a, a big shock. It's come out of the blue. Um, the statement earlier today in a sense, warming everyone up to this idea, and then the announcement that she died this afternoon. So many, many questions come to mind. One of them is, had she already passed away before the royal family arrived well, at Balmoral? Well, some of them apparently, yes, because it said she passed away this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. So Prince Charles may well have been by her side. Her other children may not have been. Right. And this is what I thought as the afternoon um, developed. I thought that they were perhaps gathering all the family there before they made the announcement so that they were in a safe place that they were all informed, and then it went public. So I'm not that surprised um, from an organizational perspective, but from an emotional perspective, I am surprised. And of course, it's extremely, extremely sad. All right.